Hi everyone, it's Adriana back here again for Couture Creations. Today I have a box envelope tutorial using the Couture Creations scoreboard. This is a 12 by 12 scoreboard and it's a fantastic tool to create envelopes and boxes but today I'm going to create a box envelope with this scoreboard. I've created two cards using the Peaceful Peony collection. As you can see these two cards are very deep with layering and very 3D. So a normal envelope will not be suitable for these cards. So that's why the scoreboard comes in handy to create a beautiful box envelope. The box envelope is in one about a quarter of an inch thickness and fits in beautifully. This is my envelope box that I've created and that houses my little card that I've made. I make these envelopes for when I have really lumpy cards and when I say lumpy like lots of layers and um, depth 3D cards so you can see it's got a little bit of a I think about a quarter of an inch depth which are perfect for this card and I can't post this but definitely for giving it as a gift so for my card I measured my card and this card is five by five and three quarter inches so on the back of your multi purpose scoring board. I'm using the Couture Creation multi-purpose scoring board. You have measurements on the side and at the top in inches and they're marked in eighths of an inch. On the back there is a template that slides out and also it has the bone folder or scorer. This template has the measurements to create envelopes and also at the back boxes with lids and tops and also instructions on doing a box em envelope which I'm doing now. So the card that I size, I look down here to see what kind of card fix in that. I never go to the size of what the card is, I always go up. So in this instance there's a measurement here for six and a half and five and one eighth which is perfect because that's going to house my five inches and five and five eighths of an inch card. And it says to measure your card 10 by 10 inches. So I'm going to cut that cardstock down. And this is a, my cardstock that I've already cut down. I've cut that down by 10 by 10. It was a 12 by 12. And the score for the outer and inner along there is five inches and six inches so you need two score lines every time to go around so with this template I'm placing it right in the top hand right hand corner I'm looking at the side of the measurements here not at the top on the side the measurements here and the measurement for this is five and six inches so I line up the paper at the six inch mark here there is a little nodule here which helps you guide your score bone folder and you just score away. I'm going to move the paper now to 5 inches. See how this is 5 inches and then I score away again. Now these are your starting points for when you're scoring the next one. So you don't worry about that anymore because you've done that sizing now. What you need to do is, you see how it's got a bit of a right angle here? This corner here is what lines up with the crease line there. So the crease line is underneath that line that goes right across. You line up your paper so it's nice and straight and then you score away. Because I've got another one here, another line there, there's two lines. So each time you're just lining that right angle underneath that right score line that we did before and you score away. Turning it around, there's a score line there and a score line there again. Lining up that right angle with that bottom score line and then score away. And again, making sure your paper's all lined up.
lining up the paper. And lining up the paper. So each side has been scored twice. So you get sort of like a crisscross cross effect happening in all the angles. So then you'll see there's like little triangles. You just cut out the little triangles. That helps you fold the edges with the flaps. And they're all different because it's not a perfect square. We've done an actual rectangle. If you notice, the cards aren't square. They are rectangle. Now, another tool that I use also is a corner punch and I'll show that in a minute but first of all before we finish with that so these all fold in but what we need to do is we need to do one more cut and that is turning it to landscape and just cutting that little flap there and we cut another flap here and another flap around the other side and another flap over here so then we have the two little flaps that help hold the side edges so when you're gluing it or you're using um, some double sided tape they fit in beautifully so but before we put that all together I'm going to be using this which is the Couture Creations rounded and inverted punch corner punch it does two types of corners one corner is and I'll show you on a piece of cardstock. One corner is by placing the paper on the inside you get a beautiful rounded edge but if I place the paper on the turn it around and use that section and press it down you get an inverted so you could have a rounded edge or an inverted edge which is quite nifty. These are available in multiple colours and these great little handy tool. So all I have to do now is put some double sided tape to close the sides. Of course you're going to leave the top flap open and you can adhere it with a beautiful little sticker. I decorated the front and you can see the one that I have here. I decorated it with some more of the papers and the ephemera. I also did a die cut of the background and also did a, a, a cut foil and embossed sentiment and a beautiful butterfly from the actual collection as well. So that's my envelope that I created for my two cards. So I hope you like my projects. So don't forget to subscribe below to my YouTube channel to see lots of different ideas that I use with Couture Creation products. I also have another video on showing you how I created a box with the multi-purpose scoring board. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!